I got a hat. It's not Fatal Fury hat, but you know what? It will do. <laughs> so ain't actually a curricular for smart boys. It I mean, that sounds good, my dude. I'm glad you're a smart boy. Okay! <laughs> Hello everyone, Ohio Sakurai from Sora Limited. The Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game was recently honored with five awards at this year's Japan Game Awards. Hey, good shit! It's received a great many awards on top of that as well. Each award Yo, look is very awards. meaningful to me, so I would like to take the opportunity to extend my thanks to all those who have voted and to all those who have supported House of Volume for the Direct. Thank you so much. Because I don't know. Without further ado, let's begin the presentation. Oh, God. First, we'll start with what the Neo Geo is. It refers to a 1990 video game console this music. in arcades and at home, as well as to the name of the system itself. In 1990, the equivalent to the Super NES had only just released in Japan, so if you wanted right. to play arcade games at home before then, the only option was to play the less polished ports on the Nintendo Entertainment Oh, same. Entertainment Chocobo, system. we need it. However, with the Neo Geo system, you could play the arcade version Does the volume sound good, by the way? No drop in quality. Hey, Flames, Right around the year that I started working for Morning, my dude. Back then, Japan had rental services for arcade games. In other words, okay. you could go to a rental store, rent an arcade game, take it home. He has four controllers. And two. Whoa, look at them. He has After six that, controllers! They were sold for home use, but a single game would cost about 30,000 yen. Fucking hell. That's expensive. It is? But if you think about it, compared to playing a game in the arcade Honestly, 300 times at 100 yen per play, you're getting your money's worth. At the time, some people actually thought this was cheap. Ah, <laughs> oh, Fez. I, I had a, a mocker this morning. I mean, there really are people who've played games in the Super Smash Bros. series 1,000 or even 10,000 times. Anyway, the MBS, as it was called, then, was sold he in really various is. places, and for an arcade Flames machine, like, how's the volume, my dude? You could also get them on lease. That's why you'd end up seeing lots of candy stores having a metal slug cabinet. Alright. A home version of the Neo Geo came with this controller. Oh, look at that. Volume is good? That's good. It has four buttons. That's, that's how I'm playing Terry. I'm playing that controller, boy. Here's the reset button, and here you slot in the big game cartridges. This is the Neo Geo? Just kidding. Oh. Actually, this is the Neo Geo X, the portable version that was released afterward. Okay. You could also insert it into this docking station and play it as a home console. But it's a Nintendo, Nintendo Switch! Switch to it. <laughs> it's a Nintendo Switch! Console. Updated iterations of past systems are emblematic of the Neo Geo. Four Pro controllers Next, and then two SNK controllers. Jeez. It released in 1991, the same year as Street yeah. Fighter 2. But this one came later. Look at this shit. Bonzi it launched Nuka. after Street Fighter 2. Like many of the other fighters, Fatal Fury was often regarded as a title that was developed to capitalize on the popularity of Street Fighter 2. But that's not really the case. Actually, both Street Fighter 2 and Fatal Fury were developed using the original Street Fighter as a foundation. Ooh, okay. In fact, the development of Fatal Fury was started by one of the planners of Street Fighter. <laughs> Did I just hear you say, wow? <laughs> I mean, this one is also a multiplayer focused fighting game. Oh my god, that'd be dope. In this story, someone named Jeff Bogard is killed by Geese Howard. Spoilers! Geese Howard starts a fighting tournament in Southtown, which he runs. To avenge his father's death, Terry enters the tournament, which is known as King of Fighters. I mentioned the term King of Fighters, something you may have heard before. Yes, there's actually a popular series called the King of Fighters, and that series was named after the fighting tournament within the world of Fatal Fury. Interesting. And Terry Bogard, who is the protagonist of Fatal Fury, also appears in all the games in the King of Fighters series as right. one of the main characters. If you want to play a game from either of the Fatal Fury series or the King of Fighters series, many of them are available now on Nintendo Switch as part of the Arcade Archive series. Hey. Get you may not know which one to play first, but my recommendation from the Fatal Fury series would be Fatal Fury Special. 
from the King of Fighters series, my recommendation would be the King of Fighters 95. I see you with but these if you recommendations. Want to play a game with all sorts of strategic elements, then I recommend the King of Fighters 98. Next, I'll give you some insight on Terry Bogart. <laughs> Actually, this video was recorded about one month prior to its release. Ooh, okay. That's because we need to translate and edit videos like this one, and that takes time. Makes sense, makes sense. The game footage you not see right now, is not back. from the final production ROM, so please understand that there may be some elements that differ from the final game. Since we have I'll do some today, though. I want to talk about Terry using a lot of SNK lingo, meaning in this discussion, the younger generations may feel a little out of the loop. Okay, boomer! <laughs> but there's nothing to worry about. When we released the original Nintendo 64 version of Super Smash Bros., I was often asked, who is Samus? <laughs> whether or not the characters no, fun please, to play as is more important than whether the characters new or old, or whether the characters recognize All right, everyone. fair enough. I want to make sure I present Terry to you in such a way that you can fully understand his appeal. Let me so let me you. wait until after the direct flames like. Okay, let's begin. Challenger part four. This is Terry Bogard in Super Smash Bros. No. He's still wearing an outfit that reflects the era of his original game, but we did our best to make him look cool in a variety of ways. When he stands next to Ryu, it almost makes you wonder, is this really a Super Smash Bros. game? Doesn't it? <laughs> Just like Ryu, when you're playing one-on-one, -on -one, he'll face the opponent. Actually, he always looks in the opponent's direction. Even if you move him to a location behind oh, okay. the opponent, he'll quickly turn around, always keeping his focus on the opponent. Let's talk about his moves. His neutral attacks are jab, body blow, and high kick. Alright, I'll put it here. Each move is something familiar from the Fatal Fury series. Alright. And his dash is power charge. Ooh. This is a move you can use in real bout Fatal Fury special and others. In the original series, it was one of his special moves. Okay. His tilt attacks are middle kick, Right. Rising upper and under kick. Okay, cool. Compared to Ryu, his attack speed is slower. <laughs> this is to match his original series. Interesting, interesting. Now we got First up, backspin kick. Oh my god. This smash Ooh. attack is the equivalent to his strong attack, but the motion is even cooler than in his original series. <laughs> I'll flex, alright. Next, wild upper and slide kick. Oh, that's a pretty Both high down. The original series. Then his midair moves: jump, then chop, jump, then kick, right. jump, then backward kick. Oh, pretty nice. And then somersault kick. However, this somersault kick was not included in the original series. Ooh. But we needed a move to attack up, so we okay. created a new move. Decent, decent. Soccer. Also, jump and then karate punch for a down air attack. Oh, it's spikes, If right. you successfully pull off a down air, it's possible to attack with a meteor effect, as you can see here. It's Just basically like right. Next, I'll cover his throws. His forward throw is his familiar buster throw. Okay. His back throw is also buster throw. <laughs> buster throw? Buster throw? And his down throw? Is buster throw? His neck breaker oh, throw. Oh, okay, no more. In fact, he used it in the game Fatal Fury, Wild Ambition. Ooh. Okay. I miss playing that game on Hyper Neo Geo 64. <laughs> and then, his up throw is grasping upper. Ooh. This sort of dodge attack can be performed after a spot dodge. I mentioned dodge attacks. And this actually does exist. Oh! During a spot dodge, immediately press the button to cut. That's sick! Okay! During a dodge attack, your upper body becomes invincible, so this kind of move gives you the advantage when you counterattack. That's actually sick, alright. Now for special attacks. His neutral special, with just the B button, is Power Wave. Alright. Depending on how long you press the button, you'll use one of two types of special attacks. Weak and strong. This one is weak and kinda slow. And this one is strong. Fast, yeah. isn't it? For you, in his original game, you used three buttons, so there were weak, medium, and strong attacks. 
Okay. For Terry Bogard, you could use four buttons in his original game, but there were only two buttons for punch. So that's why he only has two attack levels, weak and that's strong. Right. This rule applies to all of his special attacks, so please keep that in mind. By the way, the attack power wave is a move that shoots energy along the ground. But how does it look in the air? In his original game, you couldn't use this move in the air. This is how it looks now. As of the King of Fighters 96, the power wave ability had a shorter range, okay. so we've recreated that version of the move. It's a useful move in midair and helps keep opponents if you look in check. A. Next, we have a special performed while holding in the direction of your opponent, Burning Knuckles. Alright. This move also has a weak and strong version, as well as a command input. Ooh. Like the Hadouken command input from Street Fighter 2, you perform this command using the directional input down oh no, to the side in the direction of your opponent and then press the button. Doing so makes the move a bit stronger. This means that Burning Knuckle has four variations. Weak without command input okay. and strong without command input. Weak with command input and strong with command input. The strong version using the command input is of course the most powerful. Right, You'll hear a noise when you input the command. And if you've succeeded, you might also notice some green mixed in with the flames. It may be slight, but there is a difference. Come on, female Terry, why yeah. The strong version with the command input really is strong, even capable of KOing opponents. It can be blocked, however, so be on the lookout for that. Alright, makes sense. In such a case, Yeah, quarter circle's open. fine, but if there's like too many commands like that, I get confused. But if it's just that one, This I'll is a first right. for the Super Smash Bros. series, but oh. the side specials are split into two versions, a back special and a front special. Oh, that's cool. That means there's one more side special than usual, Crack Shoot. This is a familiar move from his original game. There's also a command input version. I'm hoping. It's performed by using the directional buttons to the back, followed by the A or B button. Alright, cool, so I can back. The command version can launch your opponent quite a bit further. Ooh. It creates a bit of an arc, so it can be used as an anti-air attack when your opponents try to hit you. That's At close good. range, if you happen to be blocked by a shield, it's hard to be counter-attacked because you'll pass through them. There's something I want you to remember. When you do a crack shoot off-screen, this is how it will look. Okay. Terry swings with his whole body when using Burning Knuckle and Crack Shoot, so it can be hard to recover. Mm. However, if you keep pressing backwards without inputting commands, you should be able to initiate Crack Shoot in the direction you're trying to recover. Ooh. Let me show you one more time. Do this, then continue to press backward. Okay, show us the strats, I see. And then you can recover. If you press too quickly or input some commands, you'll fly right off the stage, so be careful. And this is his up special, Rising Tackle. Oh, I think I've seen that before. It also has weak and strong versions. I watched some Terry videos, types. like just to see the character a bit more. And did you notice that if you hold down briefly to charge, your whole body glows a little bit? In this case, your whole body will be invincible at the start. Either way, your legs will be invincible. Here's an example of this invincibility in action. With the standard Rising Tackle, I got completely wiped Oof. out when I threw myself at them. But with Rising Tackle's charged command version, you can't uh -huh. be hit at this moment, okay. so you come out on top. Interesting. You can of course use Rising Tackle as a recovery as well. Hey. Okay. Even after using Burning Knuckle or Crack Shoot, you can still use Rising He's got Tackle. decent recovery for a fighting character. This is also yeah. very helpful when you're trying to recover, so please keep that in mind. Definitely a lot better than Ryu His down special is Power Dunk. Hey, there it is. An attack that rises and descends. So it's bad up then? This side, down, diagonally, down command input is also known as the Shoryuken command. Okay. If you can pull it off, you'll be invincible at the start of the move. 
It sounds like also, he's got bad. You can special. hear a sound oh, yeah, good next. special. But it might be tough to make out. Now, let's talk about canceling specials. What? I'd really like you to keep this in mind. First, if you use a special after attacking with a standard attack, the special won't come out until the move animation has finished. That makes sense, right? Yeah. But here's what happens if you cancel out of it. Yo, Ruby, how are you doing today, my dude? At this stream. moment here, if you've successfully entered a special command input, the rest of the animation will be cancelled, allowing you to attack again immediately. What? I'll do that again. Throw out a kick like normal. Okay. And once your leg extends, you'll perform the move. Alright. Set it up so that when you attack, you can go straight into a special. Ooh. Enjoying the uh, direct so far, Ruby? This will Good increase in class. your offensive ah, options. Dude. Please try this out. How are you enjoying Terry For so example, far? Because he seems like such a good character. And power down. This is a bread and butter combo. Alright. Aside from that, you can also get Terry to fly out and attack in an M shape. In, in his original game, you could only cancel attacks on the ground, but in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, it's possible to cancel aerial moves. Ooh, okay. Yeah, he looks really good. I, I don't think I'd be good as him, because he's quite complex, things like and I'm not that smart, or down <laughs> but he looks really good. But I think it would be wise to use these combos to expand your offensive options. And at last, the final smash. His final smash so begins with a triple geyser. All right. Terry will shoot three geysers straight forward. However, if you think that's all, you're very mistaken. <laughs> He's just like, this isn't even my final form. He's flexing right now. Okay, that looks sick. That looks really sick. As you can see, if Triple Geyser connects, you'll follow up with Power Dunk and Buster Wolf. It's three moves in one. That's pretty it's a good. Visually striking combo. You may be wondering what happened to his original super special moves. Oh no, he's gonna do yes, them again. They're here too. He did it, the bad one. With the usual rules, when Terry's damage meter rises up to 100% or higher, and in stamina mode, go! when his overall HP drops to 30% or less, you'll see this go icon at the bottom of the screen. At this point, if you enter the specific- The best straight fighter, bro. Woo! You can initiate the power geyser you see here. The command input is, if I borrow the way it's said in the original game, down, angle down, side, angle down, forward. Oh no, I can't play this character! Well, it's a bit complicated. I can't downward, play this character! Then backward, then forward. You see? It is an action game after all, so you get to control the direction of your punch, be it right or left. Oh, okay. In that cool. case, no matter which direction you're going for, just swap the right input and yeah, left. Yeah, I'm not gonna be good at this character! It's like this. Downward, then backward, <laughs> oh, no. then forward. Or down, and then the opposite direction, if that's forward. And he looks cool, but he's, he, I'm and not gonna be good at this. other super special move. Buster Wolf. What was that? How did you do that? You can initiate this one by repeating the Hadouken command input twice. Down to right. side, then down to side again. Yeah, same. I'll play him a bit though. It can be rather difficult to My pull off moves using oh, the you're watching the direct command inputs. But you can also use simplified command I mean, maybe they just <laughs> maybe they wanted Gino in instead of Terry. Remember this: down, side, down, forward. As long as you input the command downward to the side, to the back, downward okay. again, and then forward, you should be fine. Alright, cool. Because I'm not smart. In the case of Buster Wolf, it's simply down, side, down, side. The small children, that should be easier to remember. Even though the command input is complex, it can still be blocked with ease. Since these moves can only be used when Terry has taken a lot of damage, you'll be in even more danger if your opponent blocks. Okay, makes sense. So they're high risk and high return. Class is an ass. Please save them. I mean, they're important, really but I get what you mean. Effort. I was never good in class. 
When you can use it to get in again, but be careful. Your opponent may be able to predict your move and take action. Essentially, it's best to use it when it's least expected, or to cancel right. out of a combo, like this. <laughs> Lincoln Kabe. A oh, young Lincoln Kabe. For the taunts, I decided to match his original... Yo, for the hot, come on! His up taunt is, hey, come on, come on, from the King of Fighters series. His down taunt spins his hat like hey. the series. And his side taunt is stand up it. from Garo, Mark nah. of the Wolves. Please be like a victory animation. I oh, demonstrated him using various special moves in the game okay. so far, and you can hear his voice. Like that. We've incorporated both his long oh. remarks, like Power Wave, from I don't think so, they said they wouldn't, like but like, it's 45 minutes, so I'm curious. I don't know how to- uh, they said- here are his color variations. No, we don't have There's a good email, variety of colors Jerry. available from across the series. No! Slightly different in each version. Well, if we get like Rock as an Echo Fighter, oh, that'd be sick. We've also included some from the King of Fighters 14 and the anime series. No! What's female Terry? <gasps> he did it! Yay! He sometimes takes off his cap too. For example, it happens during his victory pose. He did it! Wait, his does he do also blows away when he is defeated in stamina mode? Oh, okay, never mind. What is going on? We didn't get female Terry boys. That's a big sad. Oh my god, imagine. It looks like one hardcore fighting coliseum. The text above the Jumbotron. Give my money. You already got my money. I bought the fighters pass. When we talk about a game title, we need the up front. But the name of the tournament in the game story is just King of Fighters. This is a very unique stage, and it follows some rules that haven't existed in Super Smash Bros. Oh? Ultimate before. First, the edge is walled off. In the oh? Super Smash Bros. series, you need to launch opponents off the stage. Here, however, the more damage a fighter has accumulated, the more the wall will visually react when they're launched into it. Can you see? Eventually, That's sick! Through the wall. There are fireworks in the background. That's actually class! Basically, this special feature allows you to KO an opponent only after they've accumulated enough damage. Alright! It's not legal, but it's sick! <laughs> that way, you can enjoy the battle more like you would in a traditional fighting game. When you're close to the wall, That's it's possible to be KO'd even when your damage is low. It's just like in regular stages. All right. In the real bout Fatal Fury series, there was a feature in which the walls could be destroyed and players could suffer a ring out when they hit the wall. This isn't exactly the same, but we made it kind of similar to that. I see you, Sakurai. We hope you'll enjoy playing at this stage with all its special rules. That's actually class. I like that. I like that a lot. Terry looks fun. By the way, there are guest characters in the background, right? Since we have the opportunity, I'd like to introduce them to you. Hey, cool. Cameos. First up, Andy Bogard. Oh, He's right. the adoptive brother of Terry Bogard. Both of them were adopted a from an sad, orphanage but... and raised by Jeff Bogard. I was his brother. However, while Terry's teacher was Jeff Bogard, Andy studied under Mai Shiranui's father. He uses the Kopoken fighting style. <laughs> we have Bayonetta, so they're a lot Joe later. Higashi. He's one of the three main characters from earlier games in the Fatal Fury series. He's the only one that doesn't have any connection to Geese Howard. All He's right. a Muay Thai champion. Oh, Muay Thai. Kung Fu Ru. He's the master of the Holy Fist of Eight Ways, and he also trained Jeff Bogard. He can enlarge his body as well. Oh, can he enlarge Billy his Kane. He's been in many Fatal Fury Mine's games. Maya's thick app, y'all. Can we have my place? Right Maya's great. Of Geese Howard. While he appears in the first game, his costume is based on his appearances in King of Fighters 97 onwards. Alright. You can't really see his back, but the no smoking symbol is definitely there. <laughs> Geese Howard. He's the big boss of Southtown. And he's the Yo, rival Ruby, of Terry thanks for me, dude. I appreciate Falling it. Off of buildings Welcome out to Sam and the squad. Rock Howard. Rock! His first appearance was Garo, Mark of the Wolves. He's the son of Geese Howard, and Terry actually raised him. 
That means his appearance in this game at this age with that look doesn't really jive with the timeline. But Smash is kind of like that to begin with, right? Yeah, makes sense. Kim Kapwan. He uses Taekwondo and considers this is himself a lot of gas. for justice. His whole Kaku is very famous. Yuji Yamazaki. His first appearance Yo, was in Fatal sick. Fury 3, and he's a criminal known as Dark Broker. He's very selfish and sadistic. My is all fake. Blue Mary. Oh my god. Her first appearance was in Yo, Fatal Yo, who is she? She uses Combat Sambo, and she's a good drinking buddy of Terry. She? Those were the characters from the Fatal Fury series, but from here on, let me introduce characters from other series. There's more? Athena Asamiya. She's a psycho soldier. Psycho Soldier is a memorable game released around 1986, and it was the first title to feature a fully voiced theme song within the game. Okay. This epic song was also remixed for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and That's it was recorded it. in both Japanese and English. Alright. Music start. Kyoku Sanagi. He's the protagonist of the King of Fighters yeah. movies. And he <laughs> You're always gonna be on the hunt, Black Zack, you know what I mean? <laughs> Speaking of the protagonist, there are differences depending on which version you're talking about, like Orochi and Nest. Yeah, you know, just gotta use a PK fire, my dudes. Anyway, he is forever a school kid. Iori Yagami. Oh, him! Originally, he was introduced as Kyoku Sanagi's rival, but when I first saw this character in the game at the time, due to his look and attitude, I thought, whoever created this character must be a genius. <laughs> Goro Daimon. He's what? That from Ruby? Yeah, I was gonna say that from Ruby. I really need to watch Ruby sitting. It's definitely on my list. I'll probably finish it out. I'll probably start it after Ernie Kenshin, maybe. Who are those guys? Oh my god. And the other is a slasher. They are currently undergoing rehabilitation under the previously mentioned King Cup one. The poses look so weird. Ralph Jones and Clark Still. Originally, they were main characters in the Ikari Warriors series before Neo Geo. so many guests! They appeared as guests in the Metal Slug series, too. What the hell? Yo Sakazaki, the protagonist of Art of Fighting. The original Art of Fighting was released just before Fatal Fury 2. That means it was the first game to implement a true super special move. How could I not include him? <laughs> King. Her first appearance was in Art of Fighting, and she's a bouncer and bodyguard. Yo, that's not she's a beautiful King from Nanatsu no Teizai. Of style. <laughs> Next, Yuri Sakazaki. She was kidnapped in the first Art of Fighting game, but after that, she trained hard and mastered Kyokugen Karate in just one year. In other words, she's a genius. <laughs> So, as you can see, we've included many characters, Where's a total my? of 20 characters. You know, it's very cumbersome. I mean, it takes a lot of time. I'm not sure time, yet, they haven't announced it. But so yet. many people love each and every one of these characters. They haven't announced my, which is weird, so maybe she's playable? Suits, so we simply had to do our best by them. By the way, you may have noticed that a very important character from the Fatal Fury series was not included. Yes, Mai Shiranui. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is for good boys and girls of many different ages. <laughs> so to feature her. Please <laughs> She too lewd! <laughs> also, my music features a variety of tracks, and the music of the special guests will appear. Sakurai really said be gone far, for example, right? <laughs> there's a track called Pasta, and when the music is playing, oh Andy Bogart will always appear. Oh, that was too funny! I hope you look forward to that as well. She literally do Vic! Sakurai really out of here, see? Oh, that's great! Okay, I'm done providing information, so now let's jump into some actual battles. Oh my god, that's hilarious. That's this so time, I'm going funny. To play the route of classic mode. On top of that, I want to try and hit the highest oh intensity. Oh my level. god. Let's see if I can get all the way up to intensity 9.9. .9. We've had that too big, we had not had that too thick before. The game is extreme difficulty oh. and commentary is extremely hard. One or the other is doable, but doing both at once forces me That's to divide my so attention. Funny. But it means I should oh do my, my best god. at both. I'll do my best. First. This route is named the King of Smash. Three characters who have some sort of connection will appear as a set. A challenge that looks somehow familiar. Okay, the first intensity level is 5.0. I should be fine. All battles in Terry's route oh are stamina matches. This stage is special KO rule that That's I talked so about funny. earlier isn't the best match for stamina rules, but oh well. On his route, a lot of stages feel like they're from a traditional fighting game. 
I put a smiley face at the end, no. Okay, I did it anyway. <laughs> oh. Chocobo, Mai's not in the game because Sakurai course, said she was too course, thick for Smash. For to for oh my god. But normally, it'll be over before that. There. Done. That was so funny. No Looks wonder like we never got female Jimmy. too. <laughs> Next, round two. It's the Legend of Zelda team. Okay. Just because characters are in a team because of their similarities, that doesn't mean that they have to be from the same game. Oh, that's too... He this literally goes, go fucking smashes for good boys and girls. <laughs> and I've got it set up so that we don't move from the bottom of Prison Tower. That's just so funny. It would be oh easiest God. to simply knock him off the screen, but I'm not going to do that because it's not as fun to watch. <laughs> Oops, I knocked him off. Over here. Oh my God. You goddamn tea, Sakurai. It's gonna blow. Will he do it? Pushy thick, I know. Maybe next time. All right. The boomerang's not coming back. Oh my god, that was too fun. Go to the edge. Go on, Terry, you got this. Oh no. <laughs> Sakura is such a tease. The tables have turned. So let's say Sakura died to that. Chief. Sakura in a foot slayer. Oh my Canceled god. Cancelled it. He literally just did again. Where's his cap backward when he does a power dunk? Oh. Uh, now you can call this the giant stage. All the giants are lined up. Of course, the music track Sucker is Taku and Steppy. Of course, he says. You might wonder who Taku and Steppy are. But it seems like it means Tanaka and Kitamura. This track is from Fatal Fury 2. There's a giant wrestler named Big Bear, and this is his track. Okay. Regardless of the track name, it's a really famous hard rock song. So please give it a listen. Hey. The original song was called Yu Shadaiden. There's that masked wrestler. Oh no. Go on, beat the crocodile. Big Bear is his true identity. Ah, oh, spoilers. Bruh. He's called Raiden. Yo, he did that was Alright, that was naughty, Jump. Jesus. I'm beginning to find the intensity quite tough. Round four. The whole atmosphere is a little different than how it's been up until now, right? We've been to arena style flat stages, but suddenly we're at a battle. Uh, uh, that's what I was thinking to be fair. Oh, there's an item. A bear is way there's worse than mine. My... series called Athena, and this stage uses that as a motif. Oh, he's metal. No. Now that I'm thinking about it, I suppose both Lady Palutena and the Athena games were possibly an homage to the Athena of Greek mythology. <laughs> Plus, I wanted to do something where two characters who are similar or have similar abilities are together. All right. It's a nice Kokugenyu team. Oh no, he got too cocky. <laughs> If I let my guard down, I'll easily be defeated, so I need to pay attention. Not bad, you. Jesus Christ. Sakurai the goat. By the way, you can use moves like Crack Shoot to aim for overhead platforms so they have some utility to them. Yeah, I'll get him. I kept her in check. Phew, that was close. Looks like that fire bar didn't work out for her. Oh, he's trying to finish with a grab. Oh, never mind. He does it with a dunk. It's getting brutal. The intensity is close to eight. You could say the opposing team is comprised of heroes from different companies. I want Sonic no, and Terry please. are on oh stage. Actually, Sonic and Terry were both created in 91, so they're the same age. And the next year, in 92, Kirby was born. Uh. Everyone's getting old. <laughs> but they're still on active duty. Yeah. 
You know, it's easier to fight on sloped ground. I can see why it's 45 minutes now. It's especially easy going uphill. Yikes. It's too soon to be taking this much damage. I started out with 150 HP, so I feel like I'm losing. This is sort of a fucking rat. I think they're ahead mode. was born in 87. <laughs> the first Street Fighter came out in 87 as well, so that makes Ryu the same age. My for Smash, one day. One day, we need it. Who knows, Trapper Boat. Don't go off screen. Ah, he went off. I'm sorry. And now, Pac-Man from 1980 is here. He actually just apologized for a kid. Of course, this character was made by Bandai Namco Studios, but when I talk to their team, I'll call him your company's character. They always come back saying, oh yeah, our company's character. <laughs> I often have these kinds of exchanges with them. Oh, that was close. But I won't give in until the very end. Come on, come on, Sakurai, you got this. I've got a super special move. Woo! How's that? Not enough? I see. Well, how about now? Bust the wolf, alright? It's bad to keep using the same move, seriously. <laughs> Next, you could call this Team Darkness. With the track <laughs> Soy Sauce for Geese, playing on the rooftop, it's been drinking that you're not a unicorn blood, you know? Anti aging cream or something. Up next is Ganondorf. I don't want to get hit by him. Not even once. He's huge. Thanks. He's you can't take things lightly in moments like this one. That was a bad move. Alright, can I do this without getting hit? Now for a scary one, Bayonetta. No, <laughs> god damn it guys. I always say I have the Ludus community on Twitch and this is why. I'm giving this everything I've got. Oh, that was just dangerous. Pulling off that mid-air jump is risky. The Kegel's always an option. Uh oh. She's so good. That was a beautiful move. But she couldn't take advantage of that opportunity. That will cost her a lot. Oh, jeez, Sakurai talking smack! Sakurai more like Time talk Smackerai, am I right? It's not Master Hand, but Ryu, Ken, and then Terry. Art of Fighting version 23000000.0 is playing. In other words, it's kind of a theme fight. He's super strong, so I have to work hard. I'm not pacing this out very well. I'm starting from 150 HP, so I wish I defeated Ryu before my HP dropped to 100. <laughs> You really did. But I can't give up until the end. I have a super special move. But Terry is last, so he can use the same super special move. But this is no time for chit chat. <laughs> it's really tough doing this while talking. Oh no! See, this is why I lose all the time, because I have to talk while playing Smash. This is no good. Got it! It gets even tougher I know, from here. Right? <laughs> this man talks the finest of smack. I messed up a perfect shield. Excuses. I'm kidding. I'm just bad. Here he comes. I gotta be on guard. Yeah. He's got a hype crowd as well. If I could have pulled off a super special move, that would have been awesome. But, alright, did I make it to intensity 9.9? Yes, I did. Oh, that was hard work. Oh, work. <laughs> Terry Bogard is really fun to play as, so I hope <laughs> exactly. you enjoy playing as him in such situations. Song collection? 
Next, let's talk about the music. This time we have something very special lined up for you. Uh? For instance, when we were deciding which songs to include in this set, we thought about concentrating on songs related to Terry, but there were a lot of big band style songs that didn't really fit the mood of battle. That aside, <laughs> the music of SNK has always been great, funny to right from the beginning. So this time, we selected tracks that could be called SNK style. Basically, okay. we expanded the selection a bit to include series outside like five of minutes, Fury and the King of Fighters. SNK songs have always been great, really. This was true before Neo Geo, and all the way from the old The King of Fighters games to the arrangements in the latest installment, The King of Fighters 14. We did a lot of digging around, and finally managed to narrow our many candidates down to 50 songs. Decent. We never intended to do something like this, of course. So we submitted our 50 proposals to SNK, expecting them to pick out maybe 10 or 20 that they considered acceptable. But they told us they were okay. <laughs> As a result, we've pretty much added in 50 songs. Jesus, good shit, man. Have a look at the list. 50 songs, that's dope. New arrangements. That's how we ended up with the list we have, but we worked hard to deliver some of the best remixes. This was a very special one-off case, and I don't think we'll be able to do the same for other series. To be honest, I think that being able to hear such a selection might make the fighter's pass worth quite a bit more than its price. <laughs> what's this? Yeah, what's the Terry presentation, Ben? Welcome out to the stream, my dude. Challenger pack Mario 4 comes with a spirit board, too. The spirit I mean, board can be selected via the spirit's yeah, menu. Just like, yo, can Sakura... Just let, let, let me marry Sakura Have real a look quick. At the background. <laughs> if it looks familiar to you, you'll start feeling pretty nostalgic. <laughs> Shinkiro-san's artwork is always so nice and vibrant, isn't it? You can also look forward to mock tournaments featuring each of the characters. All right. That old school Athena and Ralph and Clark artwork really is something. <laughs> Can I marry Saiyan? I, I apologize, Ruby. No, Please have a look. No, I'm sorry, my dude. Wait, what does it do now? Oh, me fighters. Yo, we're gonna get Papyrus <laughs> this time. Papyrus, he's mine. Okay. Oh, this is where my. That's cute. I like that. Oh, that's really cute. The music is dope. Poor me fighter. Oh, it's him? Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's pretty slick, I'll give him that. Goku and Smash, basically. Oh, he's back. We got this skin back, that's cool. And Jackie, I think he was in 4 as well. With the skins. That's very cool. So it'll probably say when he's coming out and then end it, I guess. November 6th. Is, is he coming out today? SNK was also involved with the Mii Fighter set this time, so it has a strong fighting game influence. That's today! It borrows a lot from the series Nakorudu comes from, like her wind slash attack, so I hope you'll enjoy those little details. Moving on to Amiibo, here's the new lineup. Simon, Krom, and Incineroar. Each of these will be released on Friday, November 15th. Alright. They're gonna get a Terry Amiibo, bro. Next, let's discuss the details of the updates. We've made some improvements to battle arenas. Oh? First, we're making it so you can send messages to each other in a battle arena. The messages are preset. 
So there's that, and also the player who created the arena can now change the rules. Oh, that's nice. That's good. We've also added the option to play either battlefield form or omega form at random to right. stay steady. Aside from that, you can now pick elite only as an arena type. We need my why she's so fair. Furthermore, quick play won't be the only way to play with people you don't know. As long as the arena type is set to public and no password is set, we've made it so anyone is now free to join. So I hope you'll enjoy that. Alright. Terry is due for distribution on November 6th. That's Terry! If you have the player's pass, you'll be able to get him straight away, or you can purchase him separately. Bruh! We're streaming Terry tonight! Well, I think that wraps it up for our Terry Bogard showcase. I hope we were able to convey his appeal. By the way, his reveal trailer was aired in advance. It was created using SNK pixel art. The complete version of it, including the gameplay portion, is finally ready. I'd like to show it to you after this. Now this is something of an inside story, but I of course wrote the plot for SNK's pixel art pack reveal trailer. When the invitation comes out, you might recall how it says, Don't be late, S. That is not what I wrote. I'm not sure to be honest. It makes me think, ugh, this is why I hate inside jokes. After leaving it to the staff, it snuck its way in there. <laughs> I just want you to know that the S is also the Super Smash Bros. series S. Well then, let's move on to the intro movie. Oh my god. This is longer than 45 minutes. Thank you, Sucker. I mean, they did a good job, even if we didn't get my. I, I'm very happy with Terry. Maybe we'll get mine another time. Time to put in my uh, Smash SD card into my Switch so we can play some Smash Brothers tonight. So, Dora, what you were saying May the whole time? Oh my god. Yeah, we want May from SNK. <laughs> May from Overwatch instead of May from SNK. And now he falls into Tekken. There he goes. Bye, geese. Okay. I got smash. You're dead. Ben is just not very smart, okay, Ruby? Let him be. <laughs> Leave him be. The bob has failed you! <laughs> Should I eat that one? It's just like, that ain't Falco! Ben, it's okay, I still appreciate you, even if you don't know who Mai is. Hey, come on! There he is. <laughs> He's trying to take a bite out of that. Are you okay? Hey, come on, come on. Hey. Oh, look at Kobe! That's adorable! Oh, that's cute. The King of Fighters logo has the smash symbol in it. That's really cute. I like that. Because shakers, why not? I'm right. Okay. I love that. That big animation's great. And they're gonna end direct here. No? We crammed in a little too much content this time. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll be able to make future showcases a little shorter. Wait, you're not even gonna say bye?